In this video, I'm gonna be covering how to install the red Delta cleats that came with your Peloton cycling shoes. They look just like this. I'm also going to be answering some other frequently asked questions. Stay tuned to check it out. This is Frankie with Mark Cycling. We are here to provide helpful tips for both the indoor and outdoor cycling communities. If you find this video helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. All the links that we are gonna be covering today can be found in the description box below. So if you guys are ready, let's go ahead and jump into it. First off, we are gonna be discussing how to install your Look Delta cleats. Depending on when you purchase your Peloton bike and when you purchase your Peloton shoes, your deltas might look slightly different, but that's totally okay. They all tend to look a little bit different anyway. Some of them have a rectangular black button on the bottom. Some of them have a more circular black button on the bottom. The Look Delta cleat offers a more oval black button on the bottom. So again, as long as it's a Delta cleat, you should be totally fine and it should fit into your Peloton pedal just great. I do wanna go over a few terms that I'm gonna be talking about throughout this video, that way you guys have a full understanding. The first term I'm gonna be talking about is the center of the cleat. This is right above this black little button like I was talking about in the last video. Again, that's the center of the cleat, it's just approximately right in the middle of this cleat. A second term I'm gonna be sharing with you guys is the center of the spindle. This is the middle or the center of the pedal spindle or pedal axle on your actual Peloton pedal that's connected to your bike. For installation purposes, it is important for you to know that the center of the cleat will be directly on top of the center of the pedal spindle. The last two terms that will be helpful for you guys to know today are the ball of the foot and the fifth of the foot. These are both used when describing how to place your foot into the pedal. So we will touch on that in just a little bit. If you're doing this at home and don't have access to a bike fit, it might be difficult on the first few tries and that's totally normal. Generally speaking, the center of the cleat should be around where the ball of your foot is. First, use a ruler to measure the position of the ball of your foot. Place a short piece of tape on the side of the shoe and mark about one centimeter to allow for the width of the back of the shoe. The place you make the mark is where the center of the cleat should be. Next, place the three metal rectangle spacers in the cleat and use a four millimeter align key to install the cleats with the center of the cleat aligned with the mark of the shoes. There are so many different brands of cycling shoes and the curvatures of the sole are not universal across all the brands. So the length of the bolts might be different as well. Peloton and Nike Super Reps uses the 10 millimeter bolts. We ship our cleats with 10 millimeter bolts. So if the cleats are not screwing on properly, you might need 12 millimeter bolts. Shoot us an email and our customer support will be happy to get you a replacement. It's important to note that foot anatomy is not the same for everyone. What works for someone might not work for somebody else and that's totally okay. If you've recently had an injury or you're new to the cycling community, we always recommend that you get your bike fit so that your bike and your shoes fit right for you because that means you'll probably get the most of your ride. More recent cycling styles and cycling styled shoes are a little bit stiffer because they have carbon soles and they suggest that you sit a little bit further back in your cleat. That's just another thing that might be helpful for you to know. You may notice that there's a lot of play before you go ahead and tighten down the cleat. That is completely normal. These cleats can be attached and tightened across a wide range of space. One thing that we often see is cleats moving around in the pedal that is not normal and that is not safe. Mark cycling cleats are made with thermoplastic and can withhold a lot of force, but it is important that the bolts are tight prior to your ride. We have seen people removing the black rubber in the middle of the cleat. These are not designed to prevent slipping when walking in the cleats. These are to prevent vertical movements on the pedal. So please do not remove them. Last but not least, after you've finally dialed in and find a comfortable cleat position, make a mark on the bottom of the shoes at the edges of the cleat so you know the original cleat position. This will help you know the exact position when reinstalling new, fresh cleats. Liked the video? If you find the video helpful, go ahead and click the thumbs up. Be sure to also hit that subscribe button.